la 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 uh. Hello everybody, so today I have a video showing my new generator. It is one of my more requested generators. It is a generator for creating vanilla GUIs. So the way that the generator works, it's fairly simple and it's fairly easy to understand, but I haven't actually added a native way to add pages yet, and I'll get more into that later on into the video. Because you can actually add pages, I just haven't added something like a button that says add page. And things like that, uh, because there's a couple reasons for that, but I'll get more into pages later on. So what we want to do is um, to use this generator, all you have to do is click on any of these slots. So I'll go ahead and click onto this one and then just select a random item. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the player head and I'm also going to select something random like a block of coal, why not? So to edit the data for these things, as you can see, if I right click anywhere, it doesn't actually work. But if I right click on these items, it comes up with a nice little context menu here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enchant this coal block. And I'm going to edit the command to do a tell raw at a, and let's go ahead and just do text and coal block. All right, so now that would do a tell raw to all players. As you can see, uh, the command is executed relative to you, the player. So this is where the other ones more come in. So edit name, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do Redux for my name, and it has now changed. Uh, edit the lore, and I'm just going to say Coder, because I'm the one who coded the generator. And custom NBT, this is where you can edit custom NBT for the item. So things like skull, owner redux redstone which is my username this will now render as my username or as my skin in game so now if i do edit command this is how you can actually edit the pages so what you want to do is you want to do scoreboard players set at e and let's do tag equals menu gui because the minecart which is summoned has the tag of menu GUI. And let's do C equals one, so it selects the one that you are currently in. And interface, and now whatever you want to uh, put in. So whatever page you want it to go to. I want this to go to the second page, so I will do page one, because I count up from zero, just like how normal programming languages do. They always count up starting from zero. So page one will actually be page two. There we go. So now GUI name, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this something like GUI test. Uh, page number zero is the default. So when you open the GUI, it will always try to open the interface zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this interface zero. And held item ID, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a diamond. Uh, damage value doesn't matter, uh, MBT doesn't matter. So you can add things like display names and uh, damage values for the held item. So this would be the item that you need to hold in order to open the generator. So if we click generate, uh, as you can see, it actually generates three different sets of commands. Since this is uh, interface zero, which means that we are just creating the base, we only need this main command. This will create the base for the GUI. If we paste this into here, we get a sign because we used color codes. And there we go. So this is the command to give the item. As you can see, if I grab a regular diamond out of here and uh, right here, I'm right clicking right now and absolutely nothing is happening. But yet if I right click now, as you can see, it shows the GUI with the items. So if I go into game mode S just to prevent um, ghost items, uh, as you can see, uh, if we click this, it just says coal block. We are unable to pick up the actual coal block and it does the tell raw. So now I'm going to show you how to create different pages because as you can see, uh, currently it doesn't do anything when you try to go to a page that doesn't exist. 
So if we go back into the generator, let's go ahead and make a page one. So to reset these, all you have to do is click the first item, which is air. And let's go ahead and make this one command block themed, why not? So there's a command block, a repeating, and a chain. There we go, so, so this is good. Now when we click generate here, uh, these, actually, these will have no commands, and you can actually do something really cool. Uh, if we edit the name and just put a space, edit name and then a space, edit name and then a space, I know this is something popular that a lot of GUI plugins do, they will put uh, items that in here that don't have names. So if we click generate again, this is where these other two come in. So this is for adding to an existing generator. So this is to um, add the menu. So if we go ahead and grab a chain right here, as you can see, it says to add it to the second line. So copy and paste this at the end of the second line. This would be the second line here. So if we put that there, there we go. Now, if we go back into the generator and grab this other one, this says to copy and paste it at the end of the third line. That would be this. So now if we go ahead and paste this here and move out of the way, there we go. It has now added the commands for that. So now if we go ahead and go back into game mode S, select the item, uh, as you can see, it says cold block. And there we go. We have now just entered a another menu. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Since these actually don't have uh, commands, you can, whoops, as you can see, <laughs> if I just fly all the way back up here, god dang it. Um, these will have commands set to null, so you can actually change these. So I'm going to do a scoreboard, uh, scoreboard players set at e tag equals menu GUI C equals one and interface zero. There we go. So now if I go back into game mode S and I select this, this will bring me to interface here. These don't do anything, but then this will bring me back. So pretty cool. That's how you make uh, commands and uh, generators and not generators, GUIs, different pages, things like that using uh, my generator. This works in one, all 1 1.9 versions and uh, above. So I'm actually in 1.10.2. Uh, there were some issues with it not working in 1.10, but I have uh, fixed those issues. So now this works in both 1.9 and 1.10. So I hope you guys create some uh, some pretty cool things. Uh, if you watched my original video on GUIs, you'll know that you need a resource pack in order to remove the texture of the minecart. I'll leave a link to a resource pack that does that in the description if you want to go download it. All, all it is is just replacing the minecart texture with a, a blank PNG. So you can really just add it to any different um, resource pack that you already have. Hope you guys use this to make some pretty cool things. If you do make something pretty cool with this, go ahead and comment down below what you made and I'll gladly check it out. I really wanna see if people actually use this for some, some pretty cool things. So hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys find this useful and goodbye.